When you come to computer science, you will hear this word algorithms probably all your life as long as you're going to learn or do something in computer science. First, let's understand what is an algorithm. An algorithm is a method of solving a problem. It doesn't necessarily have to be a problem which is solved by a computer. It can be any problem where a particular approach is taken. I'll tell you the definition. If you follow that definition, then it's known as the algorithmic approach. So an algorithm may be defined as a problem solving approach which has a finite and ordered sequence of steps. That means if you're solving a problem, the number of steps should have an end. You cannot have an infinite number of steps to solve a problem. Then those steps should be in a particular order. I'll take an example after this and you will know what I mean by order. They have to be in a particular order. They cannot be in any order. They have to be in a particular sequence or order. And if you follow that order and that particular logic, it will lead to the solution of a problem in a fixed amount or definite amount of time. So the keywords for an algorithm are, it should have finite number of steps. Those steps should be in a particular sequence. If you follow that, it will lead to the solution of a problem and most importantly in a definite amount of time. So the following keywords really describe what an algorithm is. An algorithm is an approach to solve a problem having finite number of steps should have a definite and a particular meaningful sequence. If you use an algorithmic approach, it should lead to a result or a solution of a problem. And if the same person tries to solve the problem using pencil and paper, that solution should occur in a reasonable amount of time. Then an algorithm may have zero or more inputs, but almost certainly it is going to have at least one output. In the algorithmic approach, when you give instructions or steps, the steps should not be ambiguous. But when I mean by not ambiguous, an algorithmic approach cannot have a step to find solution to something like 1 by 0 because 1 by 0 has no solution. So you cannot expect to have a solution through the algorithmic approach for something like this. So you cannot ask or instruct that you try to find an answer to this, this you cannot do. So what I will do is to help you understand the algorithmic approach, I'll take a very simple example of trying to make tea. Assume I come to your house or you come to my house and I say, would you like to have tea? And you say, yeah, why not? Let's have tea. And I want to make two cups of tea. So to make two, two cups of tea, I also need to follow the algorithmic approach because I cannot do any random way. So let's see what is the algorithmic approach of trying to make tea. So the very first step is take a medium sized vessel because I'm only making it for two people. Next step, measure one and a half cups of water. Okay. And pour it into that particular vessel. Let's see what the third step says. Place the vessel on the gas burner or the electric stove and put the burner on to medium flame or medium on electric machine. Then it says add two spoons of tea powder or you can add even three spoons of tea powder depending on how strong you want the tea. Then once the water comes to a boil, okay, maybe in two or three minutes the water will come to a boil, add sugar as per requirement. So if somebody is having a diabetes, then probably you would not add sugar. So once the water boils, add maybe one or two spoons of sugar. Then after that, what you would do is in a minute later, you will add milk depending on whether you want the tea to be strong or you want it to be sweet. So you may add milk as per your taste. Then in another minute, what I will do is I will take the contents of the vessel and pour it into two cups after passing through a strainer. Strainer is that jali which filters off all the tea powder and after filtering the tea through the strainer it will go into your cup. Then step 8 I'll serve the hot tea. 
Now if you see, I showed you one particular method of making tea. There could be slight variations in this, but this is broadly the approach. Some of you may add sugar first and then tea powder, which is fine. Now, if you look at it, there is a first thing. There is a finite step. Eight steps I am making tea. There is a sequence. I'll tell you why there is a sequence. Can I take step eight and make it as step one? Can I directly say serve hot tea? Not possible. It leads to a solution. What is the solution? It helps make me two cups of tea. Now, of course, does it take reasonable time? Absolutely. Maybe in five, six minutes, I should be able to get you tea. It has zero or more inputs. Water, milk, tea powder, sugar. These are all example of inputs. At least one output. What is that output? You're getting a two cups of hot tea. Are the instructions crystal clear? Absolutely. The instructions are clear. Suppose I just say, I suppose I give one instruction, take a vessel and take a vessel, tea powder, sugar, milk and make tea. Then that is not a clear instruction because in an algorithm, you require the steps to be mentioned with absolute clarity, assuming it's a robot which is going to implement your instructions. So with this, I hope I have given you an idea of what is algorithms. So the keywords are finite. Eight is finite. There is a definite sequence. If I take, say, for example, uh, step number seven and make it step number two, will it work? Absolutely not. Because still I have not poured water. I have not put on the burner. I have not added tea powder. I have not added sugar. So you cannot make tea. So if you have understood this, there's nothing going to be difficult in learning the algorithmic approach to solve a problem. So in the next video, we'll try to learn a little more bit about what are algorithms and some different things about them.